hardcore traits, man. Meet S Dog and T Bird. They both run with a gang in their hometown. S Dog says you need a gun so that the others know who is boss. S Dog is 13 years old. T Bird has been carrying a gun since she was 10. She says you got to bust them before they bust you. T Bird is only 14 years old. Also meet Michael. Michael says fighting with fists is old fashioned. Either you have a gun or you're going to lose your life. Michael is 17 years old. And LaShonda. LaShonda says always have to, you always have to be prepared, so she even takes her gun to parties. LaShonda is six, 18 years old. 18, 16? 16. 16, 16. Now, Estog, I'm going to start with you. Why do you feel like you need a gun? Well, everybody else has them, but if you don't have one, then, I mean, it's either shot or shoot someone. I mean, they go... <laughs> Somebody in the comments said, S Dog and T Bird sounds like made up names. The writer's crazy. <laughs> S Dog and T Bird were definitely brought in so Ricky Lake doesn't look racist. <laughs> going to shoot you, but if they shoot you, you're just going to shoot them before you die. I mean. So you're saying that every one of you, your friends has a gun? Just about, yeah. So how do you go about getting a gun? Well, my homeboys give them to me. <laughs> so they just give them to you? Do you have to pay money? Do you? Yeah, well, see, they have the money so they can buy them. So they buy them so you can protect yourself? Yeah. Okay. T-Bird, what about you? Why do you feel like you need to carry a gun? Because it's kill or be killed. That's how I see it. It's like, if I don't have a gun... Then somebody with a gun. Who's Meet S Dog and T Bird. <laughs> oh shit! S Dog and T Bird, man. Looks like they got you doing the easy. Hey, how do you feel about interracial? White women, if they date a black man, dead wrong. But if a black woman find her a rich white man, right on, sister. Black <laughs> power. I love interracial couples. That's why I'm here. Hey, what do you think about interracial? relationships i personally think they're great like i'm personally in one like i recommend like <laughs> hey what do you think about interracial relationships i think that black men should be with black women i don't see why you wouldn't want to be hey what do you think about interracial relationships it's okay for like a black girl to mess with a white guy but not the same thing for a black guy to mess with a white girl when black girls do it because they genuinely like them and i feel like when black boys do it it's just because they compare them to black course, people like, when black girls it. mess with white guys it's because like oh they're like a nice guy this and this but whenever it's a white girl oh i like snow bunny like exactly. it's a fetish they be like i like white girls because black girls can't do this but when black girls like white boys it's genuine that part <laughs> hey what do you think about interracial relationships i don't have a problem with them i think it becomes an issue when you're like i need mixed babies and it's just weird hey how do you feel about interracial why <sighs> the so-called Sambo Awards were given out at a dinner hosted by the Call em Out Coalition, a controversial group with a leader who has a controversial path. Yes, Devin, and the objective of this group is to, quote, call people out, people who they believe are not advancing blacks in this city of Detroit. Now, this year, they decided to call out the chief of police, and he's firing right back. Referring to someone as a Sambo, it's counterproductive, and I'm just not going to be quiet about it. An upset Chief James Craig lashes back after a grassroots activist group gives him the unwanted honor of what's called the Sambo Award. It's hurtful. It's insensitive. Someone who is a police chief for all people. The so-called Sambo Awards were given out at a dinner hosted by the Call em Out Coalition. Now in North Suburban Lake County, 46 questionable cases in which parents gave up their parental rights just before their children turned 18 to someone else. And a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle or a friend or a cousin, the parents are lawyers, doctors, teachers, there's one who is a suburban assistant superintendent. So, and their homes are worth, you know, half million, a million dollars. But after the kid turns 18, because they, they were 
uh, they previously had a guardian, they're able to legally declare themselves financially independent for the purposes of filling out their FAFSA forms for federal financial student aid. That one court filing allows the student access to thousands of dollars in federal and state grant money they normally would never qualify for, potentially leaving lower income students out in the cold. The admissions director for the University of Illinois went so far as to call this a scam. There's a now in North Suburban. Is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. He's got it. He's got it. virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. He's got it. He's got it. virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool. What up? What up? Virginity is cool. He's got it. He's got it. virginity is cool. Come on, come on. Virginity is cool.
My bad. Um, marriage, marriage is overrated, man. Marriage, ma marriage is not overrated, man. Let me tell you something. Marriage is not overrated, man. I think, um, I think marriage is decent, man. I think the problem with marriage, the problem with marriage is that women talk too much. If women didn't talk so much, all relationships, all boy-girl relationships would be good. Women talk too much. And I'm only talking to non-sand men. Sand men don't deal with these problems. But women talk too much. <laughs> you said we still drag women. Yes, we're still dragging women. If if saying that y'all talk too much is dragging you, then I'm dragging you. Women talk too much. Period. You know what? I'm gonna do a poll, man. You know what? I don't like your attitude, man. Whoever just said that in the chat. Let's do a poll, man. I, I want to see what, what people think, man. I want to see what people think, man. I want to see what the people think. I want to see what the people think, man. I want to see what the people think. This is the people's channel. Let's see what the people think, man. Let's see what the people think, man. And we're going to get to this story about this um, Fulton County lady politician that assaulted this reporter today. We're going to get. Let me put this poll up, man. Let me put this poll up, man. I think women talk too much, man. I don't care man, what you say. That's 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 my personal opinion. Go ahead, hop on that poll, man. Everybody hop on that poll, man. Oh, shit. There we go, that's better. That's better. Women talk too much, it just is what it is, man. I, 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 and man, let me tell you, man. <laughs> I wish it wasn't true, man. Nobody wishes that wasn't true more than me, man. And a bunch of other guys. And like 95% of other guys. Nobody wishes that wasn't true more than me, man. I wish it wasn't true, man. I wish, I wish, I wish they didn't talk that much. I wish they knew when to shut the fuck up. I do. I'm not here rooting for them to talk more. You act like I'm like, yeah, man. I want women to talk more. Like, no, I don't. I, 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 I don't want that to be the case. I 
Yeah, you always gotta talk. We, we need to talk. Like, oh shit. Let's talk. Talk. Let's talk is basically them saying, man. <laughs> the next four hours are gonna be hell. When a woman say let's talk, that means like, yo. <laughs> When a woman say let's talk, that's like this, it's like inviting you into hell, man. It's like the devil saying, let me come to hell for four hours. Shit. Let's see what this is talking about, man. We'll get back to the poll. This lady, Ida B. Wells, man. He said, let's look at the race of the pilots of every U.S. flight that has ever crashed and then call this what it is, unabashed standard issue racism. Well, Ida B. Wells, since 95% of the pilots in the U.S. are white, and historically it's been higher than that, of course the race of the pilots who crash planes are going to be white because they make up virtually all of the pilots. So that's a um, fallacy, man, that she's arguing here, saying that, you know, somehow like the fact that all the most of the planes that crashed were piloted by white people or white men, of course that's going to be the case. Let's see what these guys are talking about, man. I still think this is an important topic, man. Um, and that's why I think this United story and the DEI story yes. hits so hard because we've all been in the back of a plane when the turbulence hits or when you're flying through a storm and you're like, I'm so glad I saw the guy with the right stuff and the square jaw get into the cockpit before we took off. And I feel better now. Thank you. No, I mean, about like, that. you want to go thought crime? Like, I'm sorry. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Well, well, that's the you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have. You no, wouldn't have done that not, before. That's not an immediate. No, you wouldn't that's have done that before. That's not who I am. That's no. not what I believe. It is the reality the left has but created, I, I, I'm, I'm, and that's why. Yeah, because now they doing that. They getting pilots from fucking Elizabeth City State Community College and shit. You get on the plane, you see a brother pilot, you gonna be like, grand opening. Brain close. <laughs> they should they should at least let brothers fly spirit, man. All the brothers, all the black pilots should be should, should have to fly spirit, man. Lead lead a United and all the other ones to the big boys, man. Lead them to gliders, man. <laughs> if you want to be cheap, man, go fly with a black pilot. <laughs> if you want to be cheap. Go on spirit and fly with a black pilot, man. <laughs> yeah, man, ain't nothing wrong. But here's the thing. Look what she said, man. Let's see what this sister said, man. Let's see what this sister said. She went off, man. This sister went off, man. This sister went off. She said, uh, this sister went off, man. She said, also, let's be clear. This sort of racism stems from a deep sense of insecurity. <laughs> she just, see like what I'm saying? Like she didn't listen to what they said. She, Charlie Kirk is a community college dropout whose entire successful career is due to racism, who would qualify for none of the things he's accusing black people of being unqualified for. 
And yet, as a white man, he is the one who is supposed to get the benefit of the doubt when it comes to qualifications. He is the one who benefits from centuries of affirmative action. I remember when that black pilot took mushrooms and then tried to turn off the plane engines mid-flight. Oh, wait. Or that black pilot who got banned from flying for flying for showing up drunk. Oh, wait. This is the beauty of racism. When white people do something, it only reflects on them as individuals. <laughs> I don't know if I can go much further than this. He said, when white people do something, it only reflects on them or individuals. <laughs> Y'all, she literally just said that. She said, when white people do something, it only reflects on them as individuals. What planet does this woman <laughs> live on? Man? What planet does she live on? Salute to Eric S. Operation Hall of Famer. Once again. This is the beauty of racism. When white people do something that only reflects on them as individuals and says nothing about their race or the qualifications or standards of anyone else in their race. <laughs> Yet even fictional black pilots sully the qualifications of all black pilots. Mm. She was mad, man. Damn, Charlie, you made that lady mad, man. See, if you, if you damn Africans would have been smart, like the world's the, deadliest traps used in the Vietnam. If you if you Africans would have been smart, like the Viet Cong, man, you might not have been colonized, man, which would have been a bad thing. <laughs> which would have been a bad thing. If you Africans were smart, like the Viet Cong, man, <laughs> Africa would still be in the Stone Age, man. <laughs> Thank God y'all wasn't, thank God y'all didn't have these, these booby traps, man. Y'all would have been in the Stone Age, man, still.